everybody is feeling good and great and all that shit. Um, hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Although I am not a fan of like any of these American holidays, I know that a lot of you are. So if you are, I hope that you spent time, quality time or did whatever y'all do for this thing, that thing called Mother's Day. Um, you know, what well, my suggestion is to be to always tell your mother and anybody that you love that you love them. You know, that's 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 just something that sh that should be happening. But I know a lot of people don't do that. But you know, hey, it is what it is. But I hope y'all had a great time and all that old shit. Um. So look, I'm just gonna jump right into it today. So um, I just did like a, a video over what was it Friday, and it was just a, a brief something about uh teenage prostitution. Um. So I have. Actually, I have talked to some, you know, nobody wants to come for, for me. I don't know what it is, but whatever. But I, I have talked to some and they have told me their stories. And um, I also seen some that's on uh, some other YouTube channels uh, where they're talking to, like, teenage um, girls who got on what they call the Blade. Uh, this is in L.A., uh, Figueroa and stuff like that. Uh, who's actually walking the strip. Now, I hear like a lot of you guys saying like, you know, I got to keep my daughter off the pole. No, honey, what you need to do is try to keep your daughter from like becoming a prostitute. Because I'm like, it can happen to anyone. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing too that y'all need to understand when it comes to like just human sexual behavior is that whomever your daughter is, if she is a person who is highly, uh, like, very promiscuous, it's a possibility that she could possibly, I'm just saying, like, I mean, become a porn star or something like that, whatever. Like, as an adult, I'm not talking about as a kid, but I'm just, unfortunately, this does happen. And as you're going to see in these uh, videos, now, Mike, the one thing that I notice about, like, young girls, these teen prostitutes, is that they are so fucking... Um, mature um i guess because you know they, they're experiencing adult life like as a as a kid uh so anyway y'all check these two videos these these two young ladies out one of them call herself nova the other one call herself sweet fantasy y'all check this out then we get back into it I mean, if it involved money. What do you, I mean, you're experiencing men probably. Yeah, men. Um, I had like, <laughs> it was like kind of like a real relationship. He was like grown as fuck though, like real grown. And after that, mm -mm, I can't do it because when they know that you're young, I was telling them that, no, nah, I'm not going to say all that. <laughs> but when they know that you're young, they try to, um take advantage of you and I could tell when somebody's trying to take advantage of me and I don't I don't go for that anymore. So after that it was just like mm mm. But what I'm going through it's hard because um when people see what my mom is posting on it like my stomach it'll feel like I'm finna throw up like or I gotta use the bathroom. Number two, because it's like I'm nervous, my stomach bubbling. It's just, Do these men know you're 13? <laughs> Shit, probably, probably not. Some, I just dated a guy last night, and he told me, um, I said, I said, I'm 16. He said, please tell me that you're younger than that. And I said, why? He said, just tell me that you're younger than that. And I said, no, I'm 16. And he said, just please tell me. Like, it's weird guys like that. He asked me if I had a, um any friends 10, 10 to 14. And, yeah, like, it's weird weirdos out here no he is a he's weird i called him <clears throat> my dad he's a pimp and i feel like he don't care because he's a pimp and he already look at hoes like you feel me but my dad he a gang member he still be outside he still be fucking with bitches and stuff but he don't care about me. Once my dad passed, it's like my mom, she didn't want me. So it's like I just up and left, start walking the track, start doing me. Race, I don't have any. Do, do they black eyes too? Yes, I date black eyes too. Do you don't have problems with these guys? Mm -mm. You're one of the few that's told me that. 
Yeah, some girls, they feel like that's, like, kind of dangerous, but it's, like, they be, like, kind of stereotyped, and they feel like just because, like, if they get robbed or something by a black guy, like, all black guys are going to do that. I got robbed by a Hispanic man, and I still think Hispanic man. Like, it doesn't make sense. You just can't put that title on everybody. Depends on the day. It honestly depends on the day and how they feeling, how they papers looking, how they checks looking. <laughs> really dope. Well, but on average, it's what? Cool. Eight, eight to ten. Eight to ten guys a night. Mm-hmm. And how many days a week? Shit. <laughs> Pretty much seven, unless I'm going out with friends or something. Six to seven guys a, a week. Pretty much, yeah. Coochie's still tight, though. <laughs> Homegirl, Destiny House. And I went to go see her, chill with her. I ended up getting raped when I went to her house. So, that regret was going to that bitch house, thinking that bitch was my friend. And she set me up. That was your first sexual experience? That wasn't my first sexual experience, but that was the first time, like, I had got raped or a train ran on me. I was not. <laughs> After that... That's when I was really, like, introduced to the track. That's when I really, like, started on about hoeing and all the bitches on fig. And so she set you up and... After that, I was just buck wild. It wasn't just one dude. No, it was a cool six, seven. Yeah. That's rough for a 12-year-old? <laughs> I was around that age. <laughs> so, yeah, 12, 13, I was around that age. And that wasn't your first experience. What was your first? Um, My first experience was with a guy that I did date. We had fucked... And I was that, but I was sucking a whole lot of dick in the projects. I sure was sucking a whole lot of dick in the projects. Mm -hmm. How old were you? I was 12, 13 around that age. I was still sucking a whole lot of wiener. <laughs> a whole lot. So it's like people just thought like I was easy. I only had one body, but I sucked a whole lot of dick. So it's like she kind of like, I called her. I told her I was going to come over and stuff. She said I could come. I told her I was Okay, so as you see, the the, the first young lady, uh, her name is uh, Nova. From what I understand, I know her mother has been on that show before. And I think her mother's in the OnlyFans or something. I don't know. I didn't quite follow the story. But her mother do know that her 13-year-old daughter is outside prostitute. Like, at 13, like... See, this, this also goes to this shit. I say this shit all the time. Some of you motherfuckers, a lot of you motherfuckers shouldn't be having no goddamn children, bitch. If you know that you're not mentally stable, you're not emotionally well, you're not physically well, you're not spiritually well, you're not emotionally well, you are not capable of having a fucking child. Because how the fuck, I mean, I guess, I, I, I guess, you know what I'm saying? But I think that if, if you are... If you have all those things are, are in abundance that I just miss it, mentioned, the big five of wellness, I think you'll be able to handle your children, your, your child. So the first girl, like I said, like I, her, her, her mother been on that show before. I don't like it's, it's a whole fucking thing. Like, how do you not have control over a 13 year old? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like what, what, what the fuck is going on in the house? Even if you are doing whatever the fuck you're doing, I think, I don't know what the, the mom does. She do OnlyFans or some shit. I don't, and then, as you heard, her mother, her uh, father was a pimp. Like, this, this shit is crazy. It's And then you think about the men who in, who engage in these little girls. Now, you know, when you see a motherfucking little ass girl than a grown ass motherfucking woman, like, there's a, there's a true difference. Now, have I seen a little girl who had a body that was just like, well, God damn. Well, I see a lot of little girls who got nice bodies. But um, but you can still, even if she got like a nice, you can still tell like in her face, her conversation. You know what I'm saying? That, that is a young girl. But anyway, like she said, well, no, that, that's, I'm still on Nova. Nova's the, the, the first one. Um, you know, she talked about that her father's a pimp. Her mother also do some, some sort of sex work. Um, you know, and, and you know, and all of them have like one common goal. And what's the common goal? Which is the common goal for this so-called place that we live on that God has blessed us with and that they have made us like uh become zombies to and, and chase after the bag. Which makes people do all types of wild ass shit. Such as that. 
Like, it's, it's horrifying and it's heartbreaking to see these young girls like that. That, that. that experiencing things like that. You know, she did say that she was just, she ran away from home or something like that. But see, even if she ran away from home, but she, you ain't gonna go out there and collect her. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, how the fuck, like... But, but you know, the one thing I also find, too, that these young ladies are bright. They're bright. Super mature and bright. I didn't show that clip, but she said that it was a guy. This is still a Nova one. That was the first girl with, with, with the with the short, uh, with the pixie cut. Uh, she said that, some, she said, you know, she don't, I think she said she smoked weed. And she said that this guy was trying to tell her, you know, just, just how foul motherfuckers is. But, but due to the fact that she is so wise... In, 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 her, in her young body, that when she she said she was with a trick, and the guy was like, if you ever feeling like something, take this. He said that motherfucker had perks, shrooms, and all types of shit. And so she was like, nah. She's like, because, you know, I don't want to do that, whatever. She said, because I know that if I do that, I'm going to really be out here, like, you know, like, fucked up. And then she said when she left from tricking with the motherfucker, why he put the shit in her bag, in her purse? It's some low life, low vibrational motherfuckers out here in this world. And she also said that she was dating a man, a, a man that was grown as fuck. It's a lot of you motherfuckers only, motherfuckers that be liking little girls. I do not understand like a, a, a man, a grown ass man. If you 20 something, fuck 20 and above, you fucking with a 13 year old bitch, you's a motherfucking pedophile. So, I'm assuming that the man that she messed with probably was like in his 30s or 40s or some shit like that. She's 13. She was like, he was grown as fuck, but she knew that he was trying to play her. You know what I'm saying? Trying to play her like she's stupid or some shit like that. But the men who motherfucking date these little girls, like the shit is like, it's fucking mind blowing. You are a certified motherfucking pedophile. And you know another thing too I think about when men who do shit like that, like that they, um, that they like, um, I'm thinking they like, do they got real little dicks or some shit? Like that's just, like I'm just, every dude that, that has sex with a young girl or a pedophile or some shit, we, we should take their dick out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just to see, like what the fuck, like if it's not that, then what the fuck is wrong with you? Cause something is truly wrong with you to like to like a child, a child. Now the other little young lady who was uh, I call her she called herself Sweet Fantasy. Uh, you know she she talked about her story about her being raped by a friend. See, this is nothing to you, but you, as parents you have to teach your children you can't trust everybody. However, she was living in the projects or whatnot, and I you know. Um, and she said she did suck a lot of dick. She said she, and like at 12 years old, she's like, I was sucking a lot of dick. Who knows what the fuck was going on in the house? She also said that her mother put her in a, in a, uh, what's that? I was going to say welfare assist. Um, the foster care, because uh, after her father died, she said her mother bumped heads, so her mother put her in the foster care. So, but whatever, before she got to the foster care, um, she was. She said she was sucking a lot of dick. She had a friend that she thought that she could trust. Although everybody knew that, you know, I guess she was the girl who sucked dick. But her friend that set her up, invited her over, and it was like, you know, people like, you know, in in the in the in the projects, I guess that they all kind of knew each other. She said, and they all grabbed her and raped her, like at, at six of them. And she said after that, that's when she like, you know, got introduced to, you know, prostituting. Because I'm sure that, that was some mental, that was some serious mental damage right there. To be violated in that way. That is fuck. See, and you know another thing too as parents, motherfuckers, y'all gotta really teach your children like everybody ain't your friend. Everybody's not your friend. And and also when you out here and you indulging in uh drugs, whether it's weed, alcohol, I hope y'all ain't doing nothing else more than that. Although that's bad, but I'm just saying. When you start to experiment, you have you have to tell your children, um, you have to make sure you always in control of your own mind, and 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 be aware of of your circle. You cannot be around uh, mean spirited people, regardless if somebody do. And then also your boys too, motherfucker. You can't take. You got to talk to your boys on how to treat little girl like girls. 
I don't give a fuck if she was, if she did suck your dick. That don't mean that you force your, you don't rape her, bitch. The fuck is wrong? You don't do no shit like that. All this shit start at home, motherfuckers. Y'all seem to not understand that. Because the more majority of you motherfuckers shouldn't even have no motherfucking kids. That shit is so fucking heartbreaking to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got, my students is that age. I have a niece that's that age. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's, it's just really, really horrifying. But but this is some shit that, that does happen. And listen, let me tell y'all something. Because y'all know, I was in that business. I, I wasn't a prostitute. But um, as an exotic dancer, I remember seeing some young girls. They could have been like, Damn, I started like when I was 20 something. I don't know. I think I probably started like at my late 20s. Um, the young girls would come. And I might, I don't know how old they were, but y'all can tell, looking at their bodies, they was young. They had the perky titties. You know what I'm saying? Like little, you know what I'm saying? Like little somethings. You know what I'm saying? Can tell that they young girls. My advice to them was like, look, because I had did I maybe for six years or something. I said, let me tell you something. You make your money because we it, we are governed by this thing called the the dollar dollar bill, and it's not mighty. That's not. I'm never would never say that. Uh, get your money because clearly you know, like I no I didn't know how old they were, but I do I did know that they were young. Uh, get your money, save your money, and and get out this business. That was, I remember telling these young girls that specifically, and I was in New Jersey when I said this motherfucking club, I remember seeing these young girls there. Yeah. Child, listen, but teen prostitution is a real thing and it's heartbreaking to see and I hate to see my young sisters like that. Oh, and also I like the way uh, Sweet Nova said, she was like, you know, because a lot of, from what I understand from, from a lot of prostitutes, that like, some of them do say that a lot of black men do, depending on like, I, you know, that, that do rob them. And so she made like a clear point. She was like, um, she's like, she dated everybody. She was like, basically said that you can't put everybody in a, in a, in a, in a basket just because she was like, yo, I got robbed by a Hispanic. That don't mean that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to date a Hispanic or that all Hispanics are going to rob me. But I say that to say, because Mark be on some bullshit. Like I, that, I don't really like that host like that. Like he, he, he give me, like, you know, I'm always looking at you sideways. You Caucasians, like, sideways. Because, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that, but I'm just looking at you sideways. Because I don't, I don't know what your intentions. And sometimes his intentions, not good. And I think it's because of, like, your own, you because of your DNA. Maybe his intentions are great. I don't know. But, from, no, not really. But because of some of the shit that he said. It was recently a dude who was just on there who was selling, who was, um, had a horrifying story. He was 30, um, 30 days sober. He went through some shit. He went through some shit. A black dude. And he didn't even tell him, you know, congratulations, keep doing well or nothing. Like, what type of motherfucker are you? But I'm glad that, you know, that she, that, that she said that, you know what I'm saying? You can tell like these little, these young, little young girls is, is that they're, they're super wise and I just pray that they get out of that life and, um, and do something great. Cause they definitely have the potential to do it. And this is a real subject that's really fucking happening. And if you know anybody that's like near you or something like that, that, or, or how do you allow that to happen? You you have to be a fucked up ass individual to do some shit like that. This is real subjects, real situations, sex work happening with these young girls, which it should not be happening. But listen, I also did, a, I had watched this thing where these, these Caucasian men was going somewhere into an Asian community where they, where they lived in the slums. They lived in the slums. And these Caucasian men was going over there buying, the, and, the, and the parents was, I guess they think they're going to, you think they nice? You, you think that? I guess because you living in the slump, like, I don't and sell off their daughters. Their daughter's like 10 to 15 years old. Taking them to a whole nother country, to Europe, to America, wherever the fuck they taking them. Child, I can't. I, I just, I just can't.